Ohio uh, uh, last week, and uh, you know, people kept asking the same question: Where are the jobs? Funny you should ask that, Mr. Boehner. The entire country is wondering the very same thing. But they're also wondering why you are, and your colleagues, scheduling yet another toothless vote against health care rather than tackling jobs or tax cut extensions. Joining us now is Congressman Peter Welsh of Vermont. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Speaker Boehner today described him sir, as a glass half full guy. But I'd like to ask you what his glass is half full of. Because it... He thinks he can overturn the president's health care plan. He's scheduling a 30th vote against it. What's the man talking about? Well, it's a glass that is full of uh, political rhetoric. I mean, this is the 32nd time that they've gotten on the floor to drive a stake in the heart of the health care bill. And it's a repeal that is on a road to nowhere. And it makes no sense. The other question is, at a certain point, we start to earn this 10% approval rating we have. And we do, when we do things repeatedly, over and over again, that have no prospect of making any difference to the American people. It's time to get on with it with health care. The other question is, Mr. Boehner, where Here's your plan A. If you want to get rid of health care, what's your plan to replace letting our kids stay on health care until age 26? Free preventive care for seniors, access to health insurance even if you have a pre existing condition. So this is totally politically motivated and it's just the same old story. But okay, no well, this is, this is one of your Republican colleagues, Kathy McMorris Rogers, citing the latest in totally bogus Republican facts. Take a listen. And even yesterday, there was a, a report by the, the Doctor Patient Medical Association that showed that 83% of doctors in this country have considered quitting because of Obamacare. Now, sir, that is a totally untrue statement peddled by conservatives who are using typical square peg round hole logic to make their politics. Why do they insist on arguing from the basis of falsehood? Well, it would, it's embarrassing if they had to acknowledge that the American Medical Association, which is the official representative Thank of the you. doctors, endorsed uh, the Obama health care plan. So this is a bogus, trumped-up deal that is not talking at all about facts. You know, bottom line, our health care system needs repair. Our employers are laboring under high health care costs that are at competitive disadvantage. There's a lot to debate and discuss about how we make this work and work better. But to be doubling down in this rhetorical back and forth where essentially it's gridlock and we're not moving to make the changes that we need and the improvements that uh, the country needs is just, uh, it's really kind of a disgraceful uh, way to do your job. Now, Speaker Boehner nearly admitted today the vote won't work. When a reporter asked what the chances were, his response was, quote, hope springs eternal. He's basically admitting this won't work. So why aren't we moving on to taxes, or dare I say it, jobs, because he's the one who keeps talking about jobs. He's the one who says constituents are asking, where are the jobs? We are asking Speaker Boehner, where are the jobs? Well, and that's the right question. And, you know, politics is a pragmatic pursuit. And you have to come up with practical solutions to difficult problems. And if you don't even engage and put out as an alternative something that has the prospect of succeeding, then you're really not in this for anything about improving the situation. You're in it about winning the next election, even at the expense of the American economy and the American health care system. I think some people are wondering whether it's time to bring back Newt Gingrich. There you go. Congressman Peter Welsh, thank you so much for joining us.